Hello, hello, hello. This is Psychochronic, aka Psycho Rarity here, just chillin' here as always, and welcome to Rarity Talk. What is Rarity Talk? This is my little podcast or show that I just like to reminisce about the Canadian Street Fighter scene through my perspective. So if you are watching this video, welcome to episode 4. What am I speaking of in episode 4? My experience of Montreal Annual Tournament. As a Toronto area competitor, if the T-Series is branded our home major, then Montreal Annual Tournament is branded our rival major. This will talk of my experience in the four appearances appeared during FGC Adaptation Era, 2009 to 2011, along with 2013. Episode 4, History Lesson, Time Theater, Photo Album, My Perspective. There are... Well, you are seeing this intro right now, let's not count. There are six chapters throughout this whole thing, and hopefully I do not break more than two hours. And I like to speak a lot, but I'm not just going to do this in one sitting. I just stop the recording whenever a chapter ends and just begin with another one. Because I just don't like to fuck up and just having to do everything from scratch again. So, let's start this off. Alright, let's get to chapter one. We always need the Here Comes a New Challenger soundbite every time a new chapter comes in. Here comes a new challenger. You must crush them. Past research. I have never traveled prior to Street Fighter 4, so this is research from a 2005 to 2008 Mississauga perspective. I am not legally a resident of Toronto, and basically no city would claim me at this time. I can say whatever I want, but I am a resident of Mississauga, so let's just get this show on the road. Early MATs were hosted at Mira Amusements, Montreal Arcade using U.S. hardware opposed to Orbit in Uptown Toronto using Japanese hardware. Toronto slash GTA, whatever you want to call it, player base is two to four times more than Montreal, but be aware that GTA was basically two active cities surrounding west of Toronto in Mississauga and Brampton, and that in terms of skill level, bigger scenes don't usually mean better scenes, and... Sometimes it's not about quantity, but quality. Historically, the best Capcom vs. SNK2 player base in Canada. Freddy Loco, Prez, Arcade Kid, Hero, Caramba, with placings in the T-Tournaments, East Coast Championships, and the only Canadian Street Fighter scene to attend Northeast Championships after 2002. Philly, Big E. Undisputedly the best Street Fighter Alpha 3 player base in Canada. Semijin, Prez, Arcade Kid, Sars, Master Mao, Hero, Sandman, Najen. No other city stands a chance with the only person in Toronto close to being a threat in JS Master getting fourth at MAT5 in 2007. Toronto was the best in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike until the rise of Chai Rithi in 2007 after MAT5. Started off on 2DF, which was a GGPO alternative, where it's peer-to-peer -peer rather than a server, switched from Yurian to Chun-Li, and defeated Justin Wong in the Chun-Li mirror coming from loser's bracket. Two sets of 4 out of 7 at NEC 8 in 2007. The loudest player base in Canada. There's always one small group bringing the hype and cheering for each other in events. Only group in Toronto area close to this hype was G3 Evolution, a Mississauga anime group. This is mental toughness. You must learn what it's like to play under pressure. You gotta understand what it's like with the crowd going AAA every time you're getting comboed. You're gonna have to understand what it's like where the opposing scene where you're an enemy and an invader is making sweet love to your ear, telling you all kinds of shit you don't want to hear. Past Champions 2008 was skipped, so therefore four MATs within five years. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Hero. Three times in a split for CVS2, he split that with Ratio 1 Beatdown because 4 out of 7 Grand Finals is too long and time is of the essence. Yeah, let's just not do a Grand Finals. Perfectly understandable. Marvel 2, Arcade Kid, once and then Jigabry three times. 
Third Strike, Hero, 2004-2006, Freddy Loco in 2005, Samir in 2007, Guilty Gear XX, Hero again in 2004, Alpha 3, Temujin, 2004-2007, and Mass, 2007 for ST. So with all this in the list that you see, you only see three players of the Toronto area in Ratio 1, Beat down Jega Brian Samir winning the rival major. And the final point. Entering 2009, Street Fighter 4, entering Street Fighter 4, 2009, most if not all of Montreal OGs, regardless of game specialty, adapted to Street Fighter 4. Therefore, the knowledge of past games, execution, basics, fundamentals, gets handed down to the new bloods entering Street Fighter 4. Complete opposite of Toronto, which gets explained in the next chapter. Alright, next chapter. Alright, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Here comes a new challenger. You must crush them. Montreal Annual Tournament 6, 2009. Street Fighter 4, 48 players. This is a weird list. No, not really, because you have one Toronto player in top eight and the other eight, seven. Montreal, Prez, Hero, Master Mao, top three. Top five, four to six, Chai Ribby, Karamba, Freddy Loco. Yeah, Freddy Loco, yeah, Freddy Loco, Karamba. Seven and eight, Flight Wing and Temujin. Notes. Top Mississauga player, Gurje, using Dalzen, sent to losers first run by Montreal player, Manaboy, using Cammy. Top Toronto player J.S. Master, at the time he was using Sagat and not Balrog. One match away from top 8, he gets top 10. Five Toronto area players getting top 16. Flight Wing, J.S. Master. The Flip Master XV, J. Wang, Arcade Legend. Versus Montreal's 11. Clearly shows on how we need to step our shit up as a whole. Montreal's OG knowledge going into the flagship game overshadows Toronto. We are not on the same level. Pretty tournament money matches. Gurje, Dalzen, over Montreal New Blood Harmony, Balrog, and OG Freddy Loco, Sea Viper. But losing to Chai Ribby Chunli and Temujin Zangief. Teams. First, first, well, basically it's all Montreal. First, Chai Ribby Freddy Loco Harmony, aka Montreal's finest. Second, Will Destroy Andy Steve. Third, Master Mao Hero Temujin. Team tournament is played on the Friday, which is reserved for team tournaments. S SF4 STHD. Toronto not showing up on this day as majority work on the Friday and must leave early Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Just for singles day. There is no Sunday. Why do we have a playlist right here? Oh yeah, what do I have here? A playlist. Alright, so this is all, everything that I filmed of Street Fighter 4. So I have four crowd shots. Freddy Loco, Gurje, Gurje, Chai Rivi, Gurje, Chen Yu Jin. And then top three of uh, Street Fighter 4. We're just going to watch the first four, which are crowd shots. Yeah! Oh, shit! 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 Oh,
Third strike team tournament. has to be Gurje versus Hartman. Is this a money match? like 30 40 people crowding around a TV people standing on chairs
right. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. Classic Mode Singles. First Song, Jimmy Bones, Jed 07. Beldo Psycho Chronic Fareed, Karamba Mad Zero. Majority of entrants voted on Classic Mode over HD Remix. And seeing this list, you have zero Toronto players. You have three Mississauga players. So there you go. There's your Ontario representation against five Montreal here in this top eight. HD Remix Team Tournament, eight teams. Well, we are the only Toronto area players to show up. Call me a new from Ottawa, a.k.a. Cam. Jimmy Bones, Bello, first place. Psychochronic Jet 07, Fareed, second place. Third, Karamba, Smokey, Mad Zero, DJ. Pre-money matches, pre-teams money matches, HDR mode. I lose to Thello and Smokey, but I made that money back betting on Jet 07 over Song. Why do we have another playlist here? I don't want to just show a match. I will do one more overview shot. So you have, yeah, the money matches being taped along with uh, the team tournament being taped. So I'll just go through the overview of the venue. Here and then we a crowd are, shot. Montreal Annual Tournament 6. Corner of uh, Patricia and Oxford. Montreal, Quebec. Right. Check the venue out. Overview shot. The church basement of Notre Dame du Bois France. One more crowd shot and then go on with the rest of the chapter. HD Remix, you got Street Fighter 4, you got Third Strike. PS3s, not 360s, this is 09. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. First, Chai Revy CB, Dark Dragon. Fourth, all the way to seventh. Freddy Loco, JS Master Song, Asian Retro Chemi Gen. Freddy Loco eliminating JS Master in the Chun Li Mirror. Nobody ever expected that to happen because we'd all expect Freddy to use a can or a Makoto, but he decided to do the Chun Mirror. Teams. Well, we just saw an overview shot, a uh, crowd shot of that previously. We saw. Ottawa take it over Montreal, CB, Asian Retro, one and only, over Chai Rithi, Freddy Loco, and Song. Street Fighter Alpha 3, 8 entrants, Sam Eugen Hero, Sandman Perez, as your top 4, the final Alpha 3 tournament at a Canadian Major. Capcom vs SNK2, unknown amount of entrants, Freddy Loco, CB, one hit combo, the final CVS2 tournament at a Canadian Major. Street Fighter 4 kills out CVS2. As at the time, everyone's skills started to decline. The amount of tick throw setups that turned into rolls, dropped inputs, or random scrambles kept and getting smacked up started to get ridiculous as time went on. 
Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Jacob Bride, JS Master CB, Unknown Amount of Entrance. Alright. Uh, before I always go to the other notes, photo album. Alright. Bienvenue, Quebec. So this is the Ontario-Quebec uh, provincial borderline right here. So whenever you, when you cross that little, uh, little uh, whatever, sculpture, whatever, whatever, welcoming post, welcome to the province of Quebec. Okay, that's a KFC sandwich. Well, that was something we ate along the way. KFC fucking bacon sandwich. But this is what we came here for. We went to a La Belle province. First time ever ha eating Montreal-style poutine. The gravy was thick. The fucking cheese curds are, thi are thick. And the fries are fucking well fucking made. Yo, man. that A lot of people should eat a Montreal-style poutine. This is fucking godlike. This is one of the first things we did after we checked into our hotel. Me, me, Jet07, RXS, and Fareed, we showed up on Thursday. All right. So we got RXS versus Chai Rivi, Jet07 versus Jimmy Bones. A little bit of a crowd shot right here. So you got Temujin, Hero, Smokey, Chai Rivi, Fareed, Master Mao, Harmony, Jet07, RXS. And Jimmy Bones, Fareed and Temujin. You got me smoking a cigarette at the top of the venue, in front of the venue. I got longer hair back then. Uh, I don't know who this is, but you got Freddie Loco and Harmony. Jet 07 versus Thello. This is HD Remix. Karamba, Fareed. You're watching the HD Remix between Jet 07 and Thello. This tournament was on PS3, so back then I had a uh, modified Tekken 5 anniversary stick. So I had the Blazing Freeze Capcom SNK for PS2 and Xbox, and the Maximum Carnage used for PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast. And we're using PC converters driverless to play on uh, PS3. I mean, come on, we, this was adaptation era, which will be explained later on. Karamba with his Mastic, I'm guessing that this is an HD remix match. You got me and Jimmy Bones, first time ever meeting Jimmy Bones. You got a crowd shot. I'm guessing that this is a team tournament of Street Fighter 4. So you got Karamba, Harmony, Smokey, uh, CB. You got me and Smokey of Mo Montreal Marvel. And then you got a uh, song, Call Me a Noob, Mad Zero, Fellow, Jimmy Bones. Why is Jimmy Bones... <laughs> Flipping the camera off. You got the winning team in HD Remix and Call Me a Noob, Jimmy Bones, and Fellow. Second place team of the GTA, aka Toronto, aka Ontario, in Jet 07, Psycho Chronic, and Fareed. Alright, now we have a Saturday album. Saturday. So this is the ho we oh, we went to a different hotel more, uh, away from everyone. And uh, it was uh, HD Remix uh, Casuals to warm up. Jet 07 versus Fareed. Montreal Street Fighter. So I'm guessing that's Sam Nang, Harmony, and Freddy Loco. All having a cigarette outside right in front of the door. More Montreal. So you got Smokey. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing that's uh, Jason Boss. I'm guessing. I don't know who that is. And I know that's Sandman Alpha 3. Specialist. Now, when people started filing in the venue, now you got shits popping now. So this is HD Remix Casuals between Jed and Jimmy Bones with Fareed watching. Got finally the other Toronto slash GTA core coming in. So Tim Eugen of Montreal with Nagata Lock and Jay Wang. You got me versus Thello. Uh, it was uh, evident to everyone that me and Thello were confirmed for that year to go to Evolution 2009 in Vegas. In uh, This is May, June, July, within two months' time. So we were the first confirmed Canadians to, to, to register and get our plane tickets. Uh, I'm guessing that this is a Street Fighter 4 match, but that's Freddy Loco, and I'm guessing that's JFL, Jean-Francois Lucier. A.K.A. the guy who got third at B5 and CVS1, the Montreal OG. Song versus Matt. I don't know. That's not Jimmy Bones, but this is an HD remix match. Crowd shot. 
I'm guessing this is a Street Fighter 4 match. So everyone's blurry. I can't kind of know the faces here. More crowd shot. Perez, who right after winning MAT using Sagat, the OG, if you can feel his presence, aka the Apocalypse. Me and Mad Zero, the Montreal DJ in STHD. More HD remix casuals between Will Destroya, who didn't enter the tournament, and you have Jet07. I don't know who. I'm guessing he's playing Fareed. Yeah, for, no, I don't know who Will Destroy is playing. Oh, no, he's playing against Mad Zero. Sorry, I see the sticks here. So, DJ, you got Mana Boy, and you got Karamba with his arcade in a box American setup. This is CB versus uh, Freddy Loco. I'm assuming that this is CBS2 Grand Finals because you have Ottawa watching in the background. Me, Master Mao and Chai Rivi, Montreal Street Fighter. So you got Master Mao, Hero, Mana Boy, Chai Rivi, Harmony, I'm guessing a Victoire, Payback, Song, Smokey, JS Master and Chai Rivi. Uh, this, is, this has to be Marvel 2. So you got Sam Nang, Magneto, Blackheart, Cyclops. Versus Mana Boy. And then uh, GTA slash Montreal Group Picture. Jet 07, Fareed, RX's Song, Lord Jimmy Bones, Smokey, Me, Psycho Chronic, Chai Rivi, Will Destroyer, Karamba, Mad Zero, Freddy Loco. And then a job well done to end out the weekend. Fareed, Jet 07, RX's. All right. Other notes. Note that Street Fighter 4 is three months old on console. First year of FGC adaptation era. The tournament played on PS3 and on CRT, reducing input lag and the event running on time. Tournament schedule is Friday to Saturday rather than Saturday to Sunday. It gives Montreal the day off and Toronto and outside players the day to go back without having to take a day off work. Montreal over Toronto. It's not even in the same level right now, and anyone from Toronto and surrounding area who would argue it right now is clearly insane. Most Toronto OGs and top players in the previous games of the OG era didn't adapt or weren't interested in Street Fighter 4. The level of community harmonization was unreal and made me realize Toronto and area all need to improve as a scene and for the love of God help each other out rather than win and hold on to how he won. It was obvious that Montreal was helping each other out, along with cheering for each other in different games and thus improving their own game. My first tournament outside Toronto area made me realize and understand rivalries that whenever you cross into enemy lines, you're automatically gonna have to play the heel. You can't just play the same group of people for years, especially a game as small as STHD Remix, and that there's competition elsewhere with more events on the horizon. There's a major in North America almost every four to six weeks and online matchmaking becoming more accepted due to arcades being dead and PS3, soon 360, becoming the console standard. Rather than waiting for the one home major every year. Jamaican beef patties are the official on-site tournament snack. 320 calories a patty. Good luck trying to get food options nearby. So they, they had patties and samosas and on-site. So that's all good. And that's the end of that chapter. All right, let's get the show on the road with the next chapter. Here comes a new challenger. You must crush them. Montreal Annual Tournament 7 with a trailer to start off this chapter. Oh, he takes it. That's our game set match tournament point.
you shaking then play it again so there's no mistake in san andreas the block get this bitch earthquake like oh, oh, oh. For 20 months, drop steadily Plenty tracks to empty on your whack pedigree I'm back heavily while you're back pedaling Alright, Montreal Annual Tournament 7, 2010 Street, Super Street Fighter 4, 7, 5 entrants JS Master 1st, Snafu 2nd, Erikai 3rd Buddha Force 4th, Chirithi 5th, Ramio 5th Mr. Trite 7th, Prez 7th. $200 pot bonus as part of the ESC circuit. Previous winners of ESC circuit tournaments are allowed to enter this tournament. Specifically, JS Master, Davro, Blitzman G. Because back then, Ontario did a little bit of a circuit tournament. A bunch of qualifiers where finally it would go to Fan Expo, they'd play for like a grand. Obviously, that wouldn't happen. So there was a rule implementing that if you won a, a qualifier, you are not allowed to enter the next one. That's perfectly fair. It's, it's a circuit. That's what it's meant to. That's what it's meant to be. That's perfectly fine. Chai Rithi eliminated by Buddha Force. Winners finals: Snafu versus Erikai stalled ten plus minutes, so both sides can match money in side bets. Seven hundred dollars. JS Masters sent to losers by MTLer. El Montreal El Forte beats Freddy Loco Rose to qualify for top eight. Goes to a tear in losers bracket. Prez, Ramio, Buddha Force, Eric High, Snafu to win the tournament. A playlist. Why do we have a playlist? I must have salvaged a lot of footage along the years. So what do I have here? We're going to watch these two team tournament crowd shots. We're gonna watch that. Well, we, obviously you can't. Well, let's just explain the team tournament first. Then we'll just get to the video. I jumped. I jumped the gun too far. Team tournament, 32 teams. So that's 96 players, three versus three. First place, JS Master Eric High Blitzman G. Second place, Chai Ready Freddy Local Harmony, the previous TE last year's champions. Third, the Super Friends Trini Ramio Snafu. Fourth place, the Stoner Friends, Psycho Chronic, John Jing, Sacco Jericho. $660 prize pot, winner take all, the most high roll, high rollers tournament in Canada, not including Canada Cup 2010. Second place is lucky to get their venue feedback, their entry feedback. All right, now we get to go back to the video. Team tournament, crowd shot one and two. Grand finals, this is grand finals. Guy Rithy vs. JS. Winner take all. Final. Final.
was hype. That was fucking hype. All right. What else? Uh, 8v8. Well, we jumped a little too far. Okay, I have the... I know something that I have in this playlist. So... So, I taped basically my matches, top 8, and the 8v8 on this. So, we're gonna... I jumped... So, I said about that winner's finals was stalled. Nearly 10 minutes. 10 plus minutes, whatever. Here's a clip of that. Stall the tournament, man. You want a side bet? Yeah, this is gonna take a while to count that money. Match that motherfucker. Generation? I don't think so. You don't see that shit in this generation. We side betting. Even I had to side bet. I put 20 bucks on that shit. I put $20 on Eric High too. So you have Ontario consisting of five cities, Mississauga, Brampton, Toronto, Waterloo, and Richmond Hill versus Montreal with Montreal eight, Ontario seven with your result right here if you can read that. I'll put that up, leave it there for like five seconds. Post tournament team battle at $20 a person, the final rival team battle that between that will ever happen within the remaining timeline of Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 would obviously uh, last until 2015. This is the only time we get to see a true team battle. 8 versus 8, 20 bucks a head. Alright. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. Singles. Ganajan 87 over Jimmy Bones in the Boxer Mirror match with Blitzfu and Thello as you're rounding up your top Four. So you have two Ottawa, two Montreal. On top of an unknown amount of teams in the team tournament, Team Montreal first, Jimmy Bones and Thello. Team Ottawa, Ganadian 87 and Contra. Team Mississauga, Psychotronic and Jet 07. Why do I have this playlist? 
What did I record at this time? All right, just a bunch of tournament matches and and the yeah, just a bunch of tournament matches in the grand finals. All right, cool. Tatsu Noko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars five entrance round robin to be done on the Saturday. Unlockable characters not unlocked, meaning you cannot use Zero, Joe the Condor, Frank West, Tekka Man Blade, or I Chan, aka Yatter Man number two. There is a Japanese, we play Japanese standard of teams locked, and we banned the Giants, meaning you cannot use PTX 48 or Gold Light Tan. There is a simple little rule set into this little game, if you don't know. The rule is that because everyone complained about Giants early on, they were initially soft banned, but within time, Giants became legal in tournaments, and then they were eventually mid-tier. Shoutouts to K-Beast and Dr. Science. So, there was a time frame where there were no TVC tournaments because of this rule. Uh, are the Giants banned? Are the Giants banned? Well, the rule is, well, this is Wooly's console, and... You guys, MTLSF, authorized me to run this tournament. So basically, you, I have final say, the Giants banned or not. We banned the Giants. Who cares? It's only five people. It's only a round robin. Who cares? Fuck it. Team locked. Whatever. First place, Harmony, Karas Ryu. Second place, Dave Rowe, Kashan Ryu. Third place, me, Psycho Chronic, Duranjo, and Soki. Fourth, Contra, Tekka Man, Blade, and Polymar. Oh, wait, we had a Tekka Man, Blade? Oh, yeah, we unlocked that motherfucker for the fucking tournament. So we had to beat the game, what, three times? Okay, cool. Fifth place, 30 hit cheaps, a.k.a. Wooly, before he became a super best friend. Kaijin no Soki, Mega Man, Volna. All right, I needed this practice. I got second at Midwest Championships using a Giant, and I figure I do need the practice for Evo. Ban the Giants, give me a challenge. I got third. I lost to Harmony and Dave Rowe. Dave Rowe was my training partner at the time, so good shit. Photo album before. Other notes. Scroll to my archives, my photo archives. All right. Uh, Montreal Annual Tour. Okay, we showed up on Thursday. Okay, I sh so we showed up on Thursday, and we went, okay, oh, this is the welcome post, Bienvenue à Quebec, Bison Transport, yes, there is a, a trucker, trucking service called Bison Transport, so this is Motel Pierre, which would be the lodging of where majority of us would be staying, I heard it was like, I don't know, $50 a night and you're going to house like six people in this room. No problem. That's Sacco Jericho. So it was me, RXS, Jetto 7, and Sacco Jericho went on this trip. Sacco Jericho was our resident El Fuerte. Kind of looks like a POW camp. And it's only five minutes away from the venue and five minutes away from a Tim Hortons. RXS with the reservation. So we decided to go to NetChamp. NetChamp Battle Arena. So, but first we got poutine before we entered NetChamp. So we went to a nearby s place. What is it? S I can't read it. Sco a score, scoff. I, don't, I, I apologize. So we all got poutine. Brought it to the venue. And here we are. Head, this is where Montreal Street Fighter used to play. NetChamp Battle Arena. $10. Just like any other home spot. And the head-to-head -head Street Fighter fours, and we're, we're just here in getting our getting on our practice uh, for the tournament. So this was a good experience. We get to experience a Montreal local, so which is pretty good. So that's Thursday, Friday. So you have Drekken, the guy of the ESC champ, and you have Cranky Punk, the one of the new. Uh, figureheads of MTLSF tournament organizing. All right, crowd shot. You have a Marvel Two station. You have a CVS Two station, and I'm guessing, okay, Super Street Fighter Four. Blurry crowd shot. You got a trophy for winning a Montreal Annual Tournament Seven and a Super Street Fighter Four. And we're playing on Xbox 360, no PS3s, so we don't have to go through lag issues. We don't have to go through driverless converters for people who want to use their PS2 stick. No, now you finally understood. We got to play on what would supposedly be the right console 
for, and I can say this in a Toronto area standpoint, yeah, 360, that's how we do. I'm guessing that's SARS, and I don't know who that is, I, I can't tell. You got a crowd shot, you got Song, you got Snafu, you got Sacco Jericho, you got Smokey, you got Freddy Loco. I'm guessing this is a Super Street Fighter 4 casual. You got a row of casuals, all Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, you got Buddha Force versus uh, Freddy Loco. So, uh, who is Freddy Loco using? Okay, this is a casual, so I'm guessing Freddy Loco is using Cody, and either Buddha Force is using Rufus or Seth. Uh, I'm guessing that this is Master Mao versus. Uh, is that yeah yeah it's Master Mao so Seth Blanca yeah Seth Blanca versus Buddha Force Freddy Loco watching crowd shot still watching I don't know who that is but you got Sacco Jericho with the hat you got Kiros aka S Moon you got Harmony right be beside him and you got Chai Rithy right behind them Drekken who's doing the stream duties for ES uh, ESC Circuit Super Street Fighter Four that this is the the stream station. Recording station, if you want to say it. You got Prez versus Dave Rowe. You got Contra. And you got Harmony watching. Fidel Gustro. The Kingston Spider-Man. Eventually the Kingston, the Kingston Spider-Man. Crowd shot of the stream station. I don't know who is playing. But you got Wooly on commentary. More MTLSF crowd. So you got Kiros, HVE. Prez, Jimmy Bones, Remy Ramal, uh, Song, Smokey, and uh, Master Mao. We all went out for poutine. We all went to a nearby. Uh, I don't. I forget the restaurant, but this time we got uh, poutine with meat sauce. So that's meat. You know, meat sauce like you'd see in a pasta, in uh, in company with the gravy inside the poutine. It's crazy. And then we have Saturday pictures. Right, uh, you got a bunch of shirts. You got the poster. Jamaican beef patties. Oh yeah, Jamaican beef patties are the snack, but this time it's different. Okay, uh, early early Saturday. So you got Smokey, you got Sars, you got Dave Rowe, you got Buddha Force. I'm guessing that's John Jing. You got Wooly versus uh, Dave Rowe and Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I don't know who this is. Oh, no, this is Ganadian 87 versus uh, Jet 07 in uh, HD Remix. So, uh, Ganadian 87 using Pad Balrog on a different button mapping. This is Chef Master Mao Pad Thai. $10 will get you fucking the best Pad Thai ever. All home cooked. Orders taken the previous day. Uh, which I will explain. Meal deal. Crowd shot. More crowd shot of the stream station. So this is Buddha Force versus uh, Song. And you got Wooly. You got Cranky Punk. You got uh, MTLer. You got Trini. You got Ramio. You got Freddy Loco. Same match, but from a different angle, including Drekken. JS Master versus uh, Chai Rithy. Yes, this is the team tournament. As you just saw earlier from a previous crowd shot. Well, no, he, no, he wasn't facing Chai Ritty. He was facing Freddy Loco. All right, because they were they was on the same team. All right. The aftermath of, uh, I think, the winner's finals when uh, Snafu beat Eric High. So you got Eric High, Buddha Forest, JS Master. Just everyone in Toronto just outside just chilling. You got SARS. You got Chai Ritty. You got Blitzman G. You got Buddha Force. I don't know who that is, but okay, whatever. You got Prez in the in the green soccer jersey, almost soccer soccer like wear, and you got Wooly, super best friend. Third strike. I think that this is casuals. I didn't think they did a tournament. There was no results I could find. This is Snafu versus Ramio, so I'm guessing this is top eight. You got Mad Zero versus uh Ganadian eighty seven. You have Mao, but you have Jimmy Bones, Thello, and uh, Mad Zero. 
You have JS Master and Blitzman all watching to do a possible side bet. You got Vesna, aka Hero. You got Devro. You got Buddha Force. You got Basics. Yeah, yeah. This has to be winner's final side bet. This has to be winner's final side bet. Stars, Smokey, Kiros, Sandman, Jimmy Bones, Chai Riddy, Payback, Payback, Andy, Chai Riddy, Mad Zero, Smokey, Stars, Jimmy Bones. Yeah, uh, MTLer with the camera. Uh, this is a third strike casual. This has to be a third strike casual. Van Hyuk, Chai Riddy. Lord Jimmy Bones before he became a Lord Harmony and Andy and the payback. I'm guessing this is a Street Fighter 4 match. People are, yeah, yeah, people are doing more side bets. So you got Hero playing Bookie and you got uh, Cranky Punk. You want to make a bet? You got Kiros out front. Yep, there you go, right there. Yeah, this has to be it. Put the money on the motherfucking table to symbolize that this is fucking real. Money's on the fucking line. Seven hundred dollars. So three fifty, Ontario. Three fifty, Montreal. Are you gonna see that in this generation? Absolutely not. No side betting. No getting hype. Golf club. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck that. All right. This is uh, the aftermath. So you got Mao being the tournament organizer for this one, and you got. Cranky Punk also being a tournament organizer with your top three. JS Master first. Snafu second. Eric High third. They all got their medals. Top three again with Vince cleaning out stream and uh, Mao possibly was just chilling there. And then screen caps of what we just saw of the side bet. We all saw that. That's when Snafu beat uh, Eric High and they all got hype. You want to watch the matches? It's on my Psycho Chronic YouTube channel. All right. Other notes. Second year of FGC Adaptation Era. Rather than the previous year, tournament played on PS3 and on CRT, now switching to Xbox 360 and the correct model of LCD to scratch out any lag issues. Second visit at the basement of Notre Dame du Bois Franc. Most players staying at the nearby Motel Pierre, five minutes walk. Toronto, Montreal rivalry at its peak. Capcom vs. SNK2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike cancelled due to lack of entrance and interest. The main games of the OG era finally put to rest. Livestream had a weak internet signal. We're in a church basement with the USB cord up to the window just to get better internet signal. Thank Psycho Chronic for bringing a camera and a tripod and recording Super Street Fighter 4 footage and uploading it when arriving home. You should be thanking me I did this. MTLSF Saturday Meal Deal. $10 Pad Thai by Chef Master Mao. And MTLSF Saturday After Hours. Money matches and drinking games until sunrise or when the cops show up. No scene can outdrink MTLSF. Y'all were going on until 5 in the morning. The motherfucking cops showed up to the motherfucking motel because we're all making noise and shit. And motherfuckers were fucking vomiting. Fucking puddles of puke and stomach insides. Because they were fucking drinking too much. MTL knows how to fucking party. They can drink. Ain't no city or any person in the world gonna outdrink them. There you go. And that's the end of that chapter. All right, up to the next chapter. Let's get this show keep going. Here comes a new challenge. You must crush them. Montreal Annual Tournament 8, 2011. Super Street Fighter 4, 85 plus entrance. Wolf Chrome, Diamondian, Snafu as your top three with four to eight. Chai Rithi, Arturo Sanchez, Shine, rest in peace. Prez and RPG V2, $600 pot bonus, final tournament for Super Street Fighter 4 as the Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition update gets released a week later. JS Master showing up but not entering the tournament. Prez disqualified during top 8 after being held up in traffic for two and a half hours. 
This also acts as one of two non-U.S. majors, part of Road to Evo 2011, the other major being Shadaloo Showdown 2011 in Melbourne, Australia. All right, that's a pretty fair, you know, pretty good assessment. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 75 plus entrance. Song over Jago. Then 3-8, three to, three to eight. Mr. Detroit, Toronto, Nick Cam, Mississauga. Juan Dizzle, Toronto, Smokey, Montreal, Family Man, Ottawa, White R, Toronto, $500 pot bonus. I lose to Chai Rithi and RDK with Family Man eliminating your Josh in top 25 with Godlike Monster Papa. <coughs> Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, 12 entrance, Blitzfu, Ottawa. Second, Fellow, Montreal. Third, Psychochronic, Mississauga. Fourth, SA2, Montreal. Fifth, Airmaster, Montreal. Fifth, Contra, Ottawa. Seventh, Family Man, Ottawa. Seventh, Angry Kenji, Mississauga. One of very few STHD tournaments in 2011 as the general FGC makes the decisions after EVO 2011 Casino Cup. To bury STHD and play vanilla ST instead. Arcade board mandatory with 3 out of 5 being the new rule set. Alright. Mortal Kombat 9 37 entrance. Arturo Sanchez in first. And I don't know where everyone is. Crewman. Jetta. Nana Boy. Montreal. I, I'm assuming Keto is of Montreal. You got Neo Russell of Toronto. Fabe, I, I'm guessing Montreal, and RPG V2 of Hamilton. Alright. Blue Continuum Shift 2. Top 4 is Montreal in a 27-man tournament, along with a 7 versus 7. With Toronto 7 and Montreal 6. With Ranma, didn't make it due to the traffic. Alright, but this is the results. I'll give you 5 seconds to look at it. <coughs> Okay, that's five seconds, and then Guilty Gear XX Axon Core with top four being Toronto in a 19-man tournament. Arcana Heart 3, 12 players, single elimination with level 5 Chen over Arturo Sanchez with Nerd Josh also in the bracket. All right, Tekken 6, I don't know who entered. I don't know how many entrants, but this is what I can conjure up of your top three. Potato Brain, Trevor, Neil Russell. Before we get to other notes... Photo album time. Yep, the Mega Bus. <laughs> yep, I took the Mega Bus for this tournament. And here we are, and I'm guessing which would be a university lecture hall, classroom. They rented out, and TLSF rented out this, this big room. You got setup going on, you got Omega collectibles for merchandise. Yeah, you got merchandise. Headsets, sticks, candies, shirts, controllers, energy drinks. So if you needed a stick, this was this was your chance. So you don't have to pay them import fees. <coughs> Outside, cops. I'm guessing they're checking up on a homeless man. All right, wooly. This I don't know. This poutine had the wateriest gravy ever. I did not like this poutine. Yeah, that that gravy was so fucking. They I think they used brown. Crowd shot. I don't know who, but this is a Mortal Kombat Nine station. I can tell. Stream station. You got Contra from Ottawa right there. I'm guessing that this is Marvel. That is. That has to be dangerous from London, Ontario. And they have a projector up there with a you know white wall. No need to throw one of those uh, projector type thing. Road to Evo 2011. More crowd shots. Yeah, it's pretty big. Nerd Josh and Sacco Jericho having a cigarette outside. I'm guessing this will be a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because I see Nick Hammond and Quan Dizzles standing on the crowd. I don't know what 
game is that. Let's see. I'm guessing this is Street Fighter 4 because you have Arturo Sanchez playing. You got JS Master watching. He he showed up, didn't even enter the tournament. What? Dominion vs. Sacco Jericho. So th I'm guessing this is Street Fighter 4. Who do you have in this fucking... You have... Dreyomi Games, Nerd Josh, MTLer, Eric High, HVE, Asian Retro, Prez, Mr. Trite, Smokey. Yeah, Universe. Sherbrooke, yep. University of the Quebec of Montreal Pavilion, Sherbrooke, yep. The Sh I call it the Sherbrooke Building, even though it's not technically in Sherbrooke. All right, you have Arturo Sanchez and. Drekken, the guy who streamed the year previously. Or crowd shot. I'm guessing that this is Mortal Kombat. Eric High versus Karamba. So Street Fighter 4. Patty's $2. Samosa's $1. Pepsi 7 Up one, Water $1. Salt free. Kanba. Uh, the, the two of them. Are given to the first place winner of Street Fighter 4 is first place winner of Marvel 3 and one is a raffle. A pre-registration raffle instead of just a regular raffle. Nerd Josh versus Trini in Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4. Master Mao, looking at the camera, you got Hero, Trini. MTLSF uh, artwork plate. And a custom uh, glass box, which will be up for raffle. Stick glass box for raffle. Looks pretty sick. Crowd shot. Arturo Sanchez versus Chai Rivi. So Super Street Fighter 4. I don't know who's up, but that is Prez. This is Wolf Crone versus Prez. Wolf. So you, you got special guest Wolf Crone all the way from Detroit. I don't know what game this is. Yeah, this is the place where I got that watery ass poutine and I did not like it. So I, I forget what this place is called. Not bad for a you know a little pizza hamburger joint. Harmony versus Nerd Josh. I'm guessing that this is Marvel because you have RDK and uh Jago in commentary with Jimmy Bones behind them. Family Man over Eric High in Marvel. Fidel Gustro, the Spider-Man versus a uh, Dominion. This is where Dominion started using Morgan Doctor Doom. So this is where Morgan Doctor Doom technically originated from. The Art of Lane. RDK versus Jimmy Bones. RDK versus Jimmy Bones. Nerd Josh and uh, Angry Kenji, who happens uh, we travel together. He was my friend. He's never been to a tournament before. And uh, like I figure, yo, you've never been to Montreal before. You might as well just enjoy a tournament. How, and you play HD Remix, and this is like the only place in Canada to play an HD Remix tournament. So I figure, why not? And they did some type of like segment type show with a uh, Esk Champ, e e the ESC of Dragon Esk Champ, I say. So you got Wooly, you got. Jago, you got Dominion, you got Nerd Josh. All right, Sunday. We wake up early Sunday. All right, merchandise, crowd shot. This is your top eight in Super Street Fighter Four. Well, Prez was uh, disqualified. He, you know, he was held up in traffic. So, this is it. So I. Uh, RPG V2 gets a buy in top 8. He has to face Chai Rivi. Then you got Jago and Shine. You got Snafu versus Dominion. You got Arturo versus Wolf Crone. Marvel. White R versus Nick Cam. Toronto Mississauga. Family Man versus Quan Dizzle. Ottawa versus Toronto. Jago versus Mr. Trite. New York versus Toronto. Smokey versus uh, Akuma Matata, aka Song. Montreal, Montreal. Very good. Row of machines. I'm guessing that half of them are Marvel or whatever a mixture of. While the other uh, have the ballroom. This is super. Sh this has to be casuals. While fucking uh, chairs and tables are being put away at the same time. 
Mortal Kombat, so you got RPG V2 versus Neo Russell. Ottawa, Fidel Gastro, Asian Retro, and Family Man. And we're talking with Arturo Sanchez. What do you have here? Outside, just relaxing. I don't know who that guy is. I forget his name. Mr. Trite, John Jing, Jago, Eric High, JS Master, Wolf Crone. Uh, casual stations, mostly Marvel. Because I see White R. Crowd Shot. Ben Pizza Ben, so finally better poutine. Figured why the fuck not? It's just across the street. We don't have to walk an intersection over. Now this is fucking good quality poutine at least. Not like that watery brown stuff we had the night before. Family man with his two Evo points. Near Josh eating the poutine. Ill Will from Boston. Team hate, former team hate. With the poutine of his own. Seems like he never tried it before. Arts Earl Sanchez with a energy drink. Being ready for uh, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Fidel Gustro the Spider-Man. I'm guessing the Ottawa Kingston Spider-Man. Because I remember I played this guy all the time on Xbox Live back in the day. Me and Nerd Josh. This is actually funny because I'm wearing a UFGT7 shirt. And UFGT7 was the week before. So it's like, well, one week we're in Chicago. The next week we're in Montreal. Kind of crazy. Alright, crowd shot. So that's Wolf Crone, John Jing, and uh, Jago. I'm guessing that this is Street Fighter. This ha has to be. Uh, um, I don't know. Maybe Street Fighter 4. Yeah, yeah, it is Street Fighter 4 because you got Dominion vs. Chai Rithi in the stream station. Alright. More crowd shot. Neil Russell talking with Arturo Sanchez while uh, Drekken is doing uh, stream duties. Sacco Jericho and uh, Nerd Josh. This is, yeah, this is still Street Fighter. Dominion. Uh, I think he's going to play Wolf Crone. This is Marvel Final, so you have Song versus Jago. Crowd shot. Only people I notice are Chirithi and Dominion. Yeah, yeah, this is while Marvel Finals are going on. So, Song and uh, Jago with Nerd Josh and RDK doing commentary. People are ready to file out. People are ready to file out. Federally Express. They use Fed Federal Express shipping. The Cannon Brothers shipped uh, Montreal Street Fighter. Overnight shipping the Evo certificates. Because this was only one of two international locations to get Evo seated. You want to go to get Evo seated, you got to go to America. Nick Cam, 8 Evo points. Wolf Crone, 64 Evo points. Wooly, Sacco Jericho. Is posing with this Quanba. Winner of a Super Street Fighter 4. The final Super Street Fighter 4 tournament before uh, Arcade Edition. Song. He won Vanilla Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 64 EVO points. Jago, 32 EVO points, second in Marvel. Dominion, 32 EVO points, second place uh, Street Fighter. Snafu, 16 EVO points, third place Street Fighter. Mr. Trite, 16 EVO points, third place Marvel. Omega Collectibles, Hideyuki, rest in peace. Four Evo points to Arturo Sanchez in Super Street Fighter 4. Two Evo points to RPG V2 in Super Street Fighter 4. The supposed 5 versus 5 that possibly was not taped. Toronto versus Montreal. I think it was pretty obvious that Toronto would beat Montreal in this one. So you have Quan Dizzle, RDK, Harmony, Mana Boy, Smokey, Sandman, White R, Hero. Freddy Loco, MT, uh, MTLer, uh, Smokey, Harmony, RDK, Sandman, Arturo Sanchez, four Evo points <laughs> for uh, and top five in uh, Street Fighter 4. Two OGs in White R versus Smokey in the Marvel 5 versus 5. 
So you have Evil Points, you have your Nick Cam, Quan Dizzle, and White R. All right, so Mississauga, Toronto, Toronto, getting their certificates. Marvel 5 versus 5. The five, uh, $500 pop bonus for Marvel because Vanilla Phoenix was bullshit. You got uh, Kiros and Wolf Crone with Jago and Dominion. While, you know, closing up. Bunch of sticks from Omega Collectibles. And just people just chilling outside of the venue. Now, what? We're in a car. We are just heading out of this venue. And we are going to uh, La Banquets, which is a 24-hour poutinery. Yes, it's just... Well, obviously, there's... Uh, there's like breakfast items and burgers or whatnot, but poutine was the specialty. So uh, this is the different types of poutine and the prices, which is like, which can fucking fill you up. We got Russell, Sacco, Jericho, RDK. All of us, this is our first time here. This is the T-Rex, so three different meats. Let me go back. What's T-Rex? Uh, I, I know I got it. Steak, hash, pepperoni, bacon, and and smoked sausage. That's the uh, Italian style poutine with meat sauce. That's the one with turkey. That's the Rachel with uh, green peppers. I needed that. I always I, I somehow always want a vegetable with my poutine for some weird reason. So okay, green green peppers. Why the fuck not? Ew! It looks like someone barf all over the poutine. No, that's uh, that's turkey. The shredded turkey, the whatever Thanksgiving poutine that there is. All right, and that's the end of that one. Other notes. Third and final year of FGC adaptation era. Main consoles, Xbox 360, and the correct model of LCD to scratch out any lag issues with live streaming, pot bonuses, interim, various international top players, and sponsorships becoming a regular standard. Hosted at the, Sher I call it the Sherbrook Building. It's the University of Quebec of Montreal. In the heart of Montreal, great location, but with traffic issues. Streaming handled by the Esk Champ, Drekken, but the YouTube channel has been deleted. You deleted history. Nah, that is not fucking cool, man. Why delete history? Me and Angry Kenji of Toronto area to take the Mega Bus for this tournament. We're the only people taking the Mega Bus for this tur for this tournament. It's, it's the kids' first ever fucking tournament because. There was no HD remix available, so I was like, why the fuck not? Super Street Fighter 4, 5 vs. 5 canceled due to time constraints as various players on the Sunday either woke up late or got caught in the traffic. And that's the end of that chapter. Alright, let's get on to the next chapter, shall we? Here comes the new challenger. You must crush them. Montreal Annual Tournament 10. 2013 Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition version 2012 45 plus entrance. Here is your top eight: Chirithi, Ramio, Edma. To do to start off your top three: four to eight, Moni 514, Jimmy Fierce, Etel Dan, Karamba, Chinta. Top Toronto players: Jimmy Fierce, Ryu, Etel Dan, Oni, and Shane Walker Dalzen, making their first appearance in the rival major and also the first appearance of socal og edma in two to three years moved to montreal from socal for work opportunities why do i have this youtube link well let's check it out why do i have this one because i managed to salvage Holy beta, that move. Your top four. Okay. Nice in. block. With an EX counter hit Fierce into Ultra. He gets a combo. Going down. Oh what's my god, that's so much damage. That's four. That's not safe though. EX, that's EX, four? EX, EX, EX. I want him to EX push. Uh, EX push. Yeah. EX push in will work. Wow. wow. CCG keeping it clean. Congratulations, Aki. CCG, Shai Rithi. Holding it down at MAT. You're... Super Street Fighter 4, AE 2012, MAT 10 champion, Ed CCG, Montreal, Shai Rithi, Canada. Alright, so 
I salvaged that top four because I was afraid nobody would upload it. Well, there I am. I Whatever MTLSF Twitch archives they got, I ripped it out and salvaged it for years and then uploaded it whenever. All right. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 25 plus entrance, Psychochronic, me, first place, second, Smokey, Montreal, and third, Blitzman G from Richmond Hill. Three names, Psychochronic, Smokey, Blitzman G, yeah, you would think that this was a stoner fucking, <laughs> stoner ass fucking tournament and shit, yo. This was basically a good tournament to me because... I fucking, uh, throughout that year of 2013, I went to Final Round, I went to Civil War, I went to East Coast Throwdown, I went to Ultimate Fighting Game Tournament, and I just wanted to get better in Marvel, and somehow I went to the rival scene, and somehow won the rival major. I didn't put this on note, but Smokey did beat me 3-2 to reset the bracket. Even though, uh, early on he used Magneto, you gotta understand that 1 versus 1, and even with a Trish assist, Magneto does not beat Nemesis. You can't do hyper grab loops on Nemesis. That's the only character. So he switched from Wol from uh, Magneto to Wolverine. He beat me three two, and then in the in the grand grand finals of the reset, I beat him three one, and I was so relieved. I didn't pop off. I was just like, I was calm. Like I didn't I didn't need to fucking make make a audastic scene or whatever. So uh, that is what it is, man. Nemesis T type Trisha C Viper. How does this? Uh, uh, how does I uh, explain this? It's basically Hulk with the dolls of normal and missiles with Trish Peekaboo assist to trap within the screen even though it's not like I'm using like Doctor Doom hidden missiles or something and you got Viper a seismic hammer assist to uh, extend the combo and uh, get an OTG out of it. So. Injustice. I don't know how many entrants. First, Jer with Batgirl. Second, Crewman. We don't know who. And third, Zaf with Raven. Other notes. This I didn't put on the notes, but uh, if you signed up for Montreal Annual Tournament, you normally you get like a badge. Here you got a bottle opener. That that's fucking god like a fucking bottle opener. So that that's a pretty good thing to have. I still have my MTLSF and MAT10 bottle openers. And it's, it's like you can easily scratch out the art paint out of it. Nah, nah, I just put it in a fucking box and just like let it stay there. This is the second MAT to be hosted at Fuso Cafe. And this is my second time ever and possibly the only person in Canadian history to use the Craigslist rideshare classifieds to travel to this tournament. The mega bus was forty-four dollars one way. Toronto Coach Terminal to to, to uh, Bonaventure. Craigslist was thirty one way. Shepard Young to Lionel Grew, in a fifteen-passenger Mercedes Sprinter with fourteen other people. I left the house what six in the morning. Was at the stop at eight, like eight 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 thirty, and I did not arrive until nine ten eleven twelve one two thirty at Lionel Grew takes about 30 minutes to get from Lionel Grew all the way to Peel and then walk to the venue itself. One of very few, one of few player, Toronto area players to not only win the rival major, but win the arcade stick raffle in the same night. Hey, I won the raffle. It's all fine. <laughs> well, I didn't want, like, the stick, like, it was a Street Fighter cross Tekken stick, but the thing is, I was taking the Craigslist rideshare classifieds. They would charge me ten or fifteen dollars to put that shit on the trunk. I can't do that, yo. I need to sell this stick so I can fucking fund my way out to CEO, and then eventually Yumacon, which would lead me to Absolute Battle. So I sold the stick to Arcade Kid for like seventy dollars. All right, perfectly fair. That's fair. Brand new Street Fighter cross Tekken three sixty fight stick pro. All right. With Toronto Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on the on its rise and the Street Fighter 4 on the decline within the past two years, 2011, it's safe to say that Montreal becomes the better city for Street Fighter 4 as no Toronto player since JS Master in 2010 is a threat to Chai Ridi. Name any player after 2011 when JS Ma well, well uh, 2012 when JS Master moved from Toronto to Shanghai, name that Toronto player to whom you think is a threat to Chai Riddhi. Who do you have? Shine, Jimmy Fierce, Etel Dan, Shane Walker, 
Who else do you have? Oh, and that's the end of that chapter. That was pretty short. And then you have another chapter after this. Ah, fuck. Oh, we went through a little bit of a cut. Didn't want to redo the whole chapter again, so might as well just make this one as, you know, well, the photo album. So here with MAT-10, here we have, this is Etel Dan's first appearance at uh, at the rival major. Here he is playing Trini in a casual. Got Alex Smith coming all the way from Boston. Super Street Fighter 4 in the house. We got Kim Lee, a.k.a. Kim May. They're Cammy, they're female player. And she's actually pretty solid. Like, she knows what to do with fucking Tiger Knee, EX, uh, Cannon Strikes, Fierce, Fierce, Crouch, Forward, Spiral Arrow. Yeah, she knows how to do that. Don't underestimate her. This is still, uh, Etel Den versus Trini. They have head to head cabinets, custom made cabinets. This is Karamba. I don't know who that is, but you got Prez. They're just chilling at Funzo. They have custom cabinets for Street Fighter. You got Chester. You got Jimmy Fierce making his first appearance in the rival major. New new Rising Blood Toronto player. Jimmy Fierce, Shane Walker, Rami Ramal. Jimmy Fierce versus Trini. We're outside Funzo Cafe. Right in the heart of downtown Montreal. Right, like you're literally like one minute away from St. Catherine Street. Chai Rithi. This is a big crowd shot here. This is a blurry shot here. I don't know who that is. I forgot who that is. Not a blurry shot, but someone using an American stick. You got Shane Walker versus a Montreal player. I, I don't know the guy's name. Shane Walker's also first appearance at the rival major. MTLSF. Custom head-to-head -head cabinets. You got HVE on commentary. You got... Uh, Hero there, and you got a uh, what's her face, Miss Harvey, who's uh like a Counter Strike game, like a professional Counter Strike player, who is uh in the international, who was just inducted into the International Video Game Hall of Fame. So, Funzo Cafe, you got Prez. I think this this is a casual match. You got HVE doing commentary with Blitzman G, and you got. Uh, Alex Smith just watching watching the match. I don't know who's playing. Got Arcade Kid versus I don't know who this is, but in the, in the head to head casuals, steak sandwich, steak and portobello mushroom sandwich. I was fucking hungry. I need that. You got our uh, Prez versus Alex Smith in a casual in, in Super Street Fighter Four. You got the top bracket, so what am I reading in this bracket? Chirithi over Blitzman 2-0, Chinta over Chester 2-1, Chirithi over Chinta 2-0, Loser's Bracket, Draw versus over Guile 2-0, 20 cent over Angle T 2-1, 20 cent over Blitzman 2-0, Chester and Dre. Got a little turtle tank. Yes, those are live turtles. Uh, crowd, uh, crowds, a uh, shot of, uh, casual stations in Street Fighter 4. You got Hero, and you got Kimei, Jimmy Fierce, and Harmon Nee, chilling on the couches. Shane Walker versus Ed Ma in the stream. Nacho Platter. I needed them nachos when I won MAT. I was hungry as fuck. Ed Ma versus Jimmy Fierce. This is on the stream station in Street Fighter. Alex Smith versus Blitzman in a side station. I don't know if that's casual. Smokey and the Trini. All you know, there's a MTLSF gods in drinking. You will not fuck them up in a beer drinking contest. You gotta be fucking out of your mind to think you think you can out drink Montreal Street Fighter in beer. Not gonna fucking happen. Uh, after Funzo closed, uh, we went to a nearby restaurant called Dunn's. Menu shot, and that's, uh, yeah, Etel Dan is ordering the Reuben sandwich with french fries, and that's my uh, smoked meat poutine. Last meal, and then I gotta wait, what, six hours for the bus to Montreal, uh, from, from Montreal 
not not nah, not not the bus, the, the Craigslist Ridge rideshare classified from uh, Montreal back to Toronto. So, all right, all right. Here we are in the final chapter of this MAT experience. Here comes a new challenger. You must crush them. Past champions list: 2004 to 2013. Singles only, no teams. 2008 was skip. Eight MATs within nine years. Two years to be skipped after that, as the next MAT will be in 2016. Wait, two years? Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, they skipped two years until Street Fighter V. So this is a list of all the people within nine years to become an MAT champion. CVS2 hero, three in a split because... There was the 2006 finals with Ratio 1 beatdown. They both split. They never did a fucking grand finals because grand finals was 4 out of 7. That shit takes about 2 hours. Time is always of the essence. It's okay. With Freddy Loco finishing it off in 2009. Marvel 2 Arcade Kid. Magneto Cable Psylocke as if it's 2002 all over again. And then you have Jigabry 5, 6, 7, and 9. 4 time MAT champion. Magneto Storm Sentinel. Well, that's the team I know him to use. Third Strike, Hero, 2004-2006, with Freddy Loco in 2005, Samir in 2007, and Chai Ribby in 2009. Guilty Gear, Hero in 2004 and XX. Uh, there's not really much Guilty Gear activity going on. And then you have Tim from Toronto. I don't know what character he uses. Wait, he uses... Uh, Hero uses Soul. And then... Tim in 2011 in Accent Core. Alpha 3. Tim Eugen, 2004, 2007, 2009 with Visakura. I think it's pretty obvious that he is the best player in Canada for this game. ST Mass, 2007. I don't know what character he uses. I'm assuming that he uses Claw at the time. But I'm not going to put a character on him because I don't know. STHD, Song in 2009 with Boxer Chun-Li, in 87 in 2010 with Boxer, Blitzfu in 2011 with Ken. So, within the three MATs you got, two Ottawa, one Montreal. Street Fighter 4, Prez in 2009 with Vanilla Sagat. JS Master in 2010 with Super Balrog. Wolf Crone in 2011 with Super Viper. Chirithi 2012-2013 with AE 2012 Ken. TVC. Harmony in 2010 with Karas and Ryu. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Song 2011. Amaterasu Akuma Phoenix in vanilla. Quan Dizzle. Magneto Taskmaster Dormammu in Ultimate. And that had Evo points on the line too. Psychochronic. Me. Yup. I got to say I win the rival major. Nemesis T type Trish C Viper in Ultimate. Blaz Blue Continuum Shift 2. Vice Taicho in 2011. Arcana Heartful Level 5 Chan in 2011. Mortal Kombat 9. Arturo Sanchez 2011 Reptile. Zap 2012 Ermac. Tekken 6. Potato Brain 2011. Most likely to use Yoshimitsu. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, I've always known Potato Brain to use Yoshimitsu. Cross Tekken, 2 versus 2, Dominion and Wolf Crone in 2012, using with Dominion Guile, Wolf Crone Jin. That had Evo points on the line too. Skullgirls, Kazuhiro 2012 with Parasol, Soul Calibur 5, Scrub Tile in 2012 with Aeon, and Injustice, Jur in 2013 with Batgirl, and Finn. Well, that was a pretty good episode, and I did not make it past two hours, which is pretty good. I hope you enjoy my experience at Montreal Annual Tournament and the four experiences I've attended at the Rival Major. I hope you appreciate what I do. I'm just here salvaging history, and there will be more episodes upcoming. So, be easy and relax and be cool, and I hope you're doing good within during this current times. And I hope to see you all again, and I hope you enjoy what I do.